My gray hair makes me feel so old. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wash that gray right out of my hair. I'm gonna wash that gray right out of my hair. You know, the only thing that kids and parents seem to agree on is Beaverton Mall. For those who take back to school selection seriously, Beaverton Mall has more than a hundred stores and restaurants. Welcome back everyone to the Dead Mall series. Today we'll be taking a look at the Sunvet Mall in Holbrook, New York on Long Island. This mall isn't very big, so unfortunately the video won't be that long, but it is a very weird mall, at least when I visited. I visited this mall on a huge road trip back in January of 2022, and now that the mall has recently closed, I figured we should take a look at it and pay homage to this awesome but yet really weird mall. The year is 1980. You've gone back in time, and you can't seem to find all the people. Every store you pass by seems to have been long abandoned for many years. And that's what it felt like to be walking through this mall, because the only store I remember being open was kind of like a big collectible store, and it was really amazing. We'll take a look at that in this video. The Sunvet Mall opened in 1973 and got its name due to the fact that it was located close to the Veterans Memorial Highway and Sunrise Highway. Unfortunately, after scouring the internet, I was unable to find any history on this mall. Well, except for 2018 going on forward to the mall's closure in 2023. But you want to know what this mall was doing back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Well, unfortunately, I'm not sure. If anyone has experience with this mall, maybe grew up with it in the 70s, 80s, or 90s, leave a comment down below and let me know what your experience was and whether this was a cool mall or just kind of another ordinary mall. However, we can take a look at a lot of the stores that have come and gone from this mall. I did manage to find a uh, website that listed all of them. And I'm sure this is not an exhaustive list. It's probably only some of them, you know, but at least it's something. So when I visited, this mall was kind of in a weird state. It had a lot of roped off sections or taped off sections where you could tell they didn't want you going down that wing, but then you were kind of like, why can't I go down there? And then some of the sections that were closed off, if you went outside and walked down to another outside entrance, you could gain access. Some of the corridors, you could gain access by going through the middle of a store and then coming out on the other side or going through the store side. But it's really weird. It was just weird. And you'll see what I'm talking about throughout this video. I do have to say I really like this weird and unique hallway. I'm assuming the stairs probably lead up to offices or maybe security offices. I'm not quite sure. But the restrooms were back here and it was just kind of a just a weird little area that you don't normally see in malls. After taking a look at this really cool mall sign that says Sunvet Mall on it, we come to our first open store, and I think this might have been the only open store while I was there. This is Closeouts and Liquidations 2. I don't know if there's a one still, but there was this one, and wow, did it have some cool things inside. This was like, if you're into collecting things, this is like heaven for you. It was just floor to ceiling, like all kinds of things you would want to like display they had cds and records and just action figures and i don't know and then oh no it gets even better than that the owner of the store actually invited me into the back room which you'll get to see and um oh wow it just got even more amazing because i found so many cool things and i know i walked away with at least a few things i think i got some of those um the Hess trucks out of this store anyways. So just enjoy this store because I don't know if it even exists anymore. Leave a comment down below if it still exists. I visited right around dusk, so now we'll get to see what some of the mall looks like at night. This is also how you'll access the other section because the corridor that goes between where I'm entering now and where I first entered is blocked off, or at least it was blocked off, and so I was doing everything in my power to document every inch of this mall and not get kicked out because they did have security there when I was visiting. And you'll see there's a couple stores like the liquor store and whatnot, but really everything is still pretty much shut down and abandoned. 
There was also one restaurant left called Aegean's Pizza, and I'd heard that it was the best pizza on Long Island, and I'd have to agree. Unfortunately, you're never going to get to try it and find out for yourself as it's permanently closed now. So this is one of the stores I had to go through in order to access the rest of the mall because they had a gate down blocking off the main corridor from the other corridor and I was like, but this store is wide open so I can just walk right through it and so I did. loved seeing this vintage Pathmark sign. This is the first and only time I've ever seen a Pathmark store, especially with its sign in place. Do you remember Singular and Nextel? I sure do, and I bet a lot of my viewers don't even have a clue what that is. Now that we're back outside, you can see this really huge abandoned Toys R Us store that closed back in 2018 when the entire company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy and liquidated all of their stores. In fact, I don't think that store actually had a mall entrance to it. At least I didn't notice. Maybe it did. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Was there mall access to the Toys R Us ever? The sights and sounds of this mall were awesome. Unfortunately, they're now gone. I will be posting the Raw and Real Edition over on my Patreon. There'll be a link in the description box below and on screen, as well as my brand new YouTube memberships once that launches in the next month or two. As of now, the Sunvet Mall is slated to be redeveloped, anchored by a Whole Foods Market and two other junior anchors. The project will also include 53,000 square feet of retail shops, including six out parcels.
Unfortunately for now, the sun has set on the SunVet Mall. If you enjoyed taking a journey through this mall, give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I have a lot more content just like this coming in the near future. Thanks for coming along and I'll see you on the next episode of the Urbex Dead Mall series.